Harry's outbursts reach fever pitch level. A lot of people over here in the United Kingdom are left simply bemused. As we told you before, it's all about therapy speak, isn't it? You know, hiding behind his beard. We're not talking, of course, about Meghan Markle. Seemingly, though, that was a big thorny topic. But over here in the United Kingdom, not just with Vox Pops and people, but senior courtiers within the palace once again are left bemused because there were so many questions left unanswered. But the biggest real sort of story that came out of that was exactly how many years apart now from his once-loving family has seen Prince Harry, well, courted by this particular person. And as one insider pointed out to me, it looks like someone, Meghan Markle, has been dripping poison into his ear ever since they met. As ever, let me explain. Good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. And as ever, nice to have your company. Now, here's some other shocking news that you may not know about because way back in the late 70s, you may have been one of these. Oh, yes. Yeah, I, yeah you look like you were. I can see that, yes. A punk rocker, no less. Do you remember all of that look? Oh, wow. And of course, the biggest band of that period was none other than the Sex Pistols, fronted by Johnny Rotten. Yes, John Linden or Lydon, whichever you want to call him. Funny guy actually very sweet in real life and uh, a very very warm character you know obviously just playing a huge part one of their biggest hits was god save the queen and anarchy in the uk guess what though in 2023 he's now back with his other band pill public image limited and they're going to be representing how soft does this make him <laughs> going to be representing ireland at this year's eurovision song contest good for him just proves, you see, that time calms everybody down. Seemingly, though, not Prince Harry. And nearing 40 years old, it's laughable that the mainstream media refer to him or them as a young couple. They've hit 40. They're middle-aged. Grow up. But, of course, that's their narrative, isn't it? It's fascinating in itself. Also, what's fascinating is this particular story because, obviously, you know, as you can understand, the royal family are left perplexed by this new radicalised, and there's no other word to use, really, Prince Harry. Seemingly, he had a very happy family. He had friends. He had a lot of friends that he went out and about with, and he seemed very happy. But as one person pointed out to me, who was very close to Harry for many years growing up, it all changed when he did meet the cable TV actress Meghan Markle. And seemingly, she's impacted, and as ever, we have to say allegedly, her lifestyle onto his. You know, when you think about it, there she is from a broken family, seemingly cut off her only relatives, her own father she now doesn't speak to. But miraculously, she's managed to now do the same for the former royal known as Prince Harry. Yet he can't see it, you know. And this is after extensive therapy. Therapy, of course, which he wasn't allowed to have contact with, Meghan at least, because it would have looked bad for the image. Yet Harry had loads of it continually and he had a therapist on speed dial again contradictions packs of lies what's interesting here though is most people including i've been told very senior figures within the royal family are very concerned about the influence that Meghan has over him seemingly because she is now the only person that he seems to spend any amount of time with and when you think about this if the story is fed to you about what a wicked father he had what a wicked stepmother he had and how your brother didn't do anything to support you as brothers do and don't fall out as it happens well the bottom line is this if that's your only narrative, then of course, after that, many years of that, being cut off from your family and friends, moving to another country, and yet, as Harry's pointed out, he's the happiest he's ever been. As one source told me, who, as I say, was very, very close to Prince Harry, he was a lot happier previously. Yes, he had his own problems, as everybody does, but they were nowhere near as bad as this. And he had spoke openly many times about the love, devotion, and support the king, his father Charles, had given him throughout his teen years and well into his 20s and early 30s. So somewhere, somehow, this all went wrong. And they cite this wholeheartedly on the dripping poison of Meghan Markle. Now, if anybody wants to contradict this, you only have to look back and see exactly the different style of picture, the happiness in Harry's face, the carefree look. But more importantly now, in this brand new repackaged Harry, everybody's against him. Not just the British press, former friends, family, and of course, dedicated followers. Seemingly, there's only one person on his side, but seemingly that person could be creating the most damage ever to his life. Now, whatever way you look at it, 
It's a very serious situation that Harry has now got himself into. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.